All right, this is the Itsy Ritsy Boss Backpack over here on the right, and this is the Jujube Be Right Back over here. I had actually sold my Jujube backpacks, um, and I recently repurchased it because this was on super clearance at Bye Bye Baby, and I had a coupon as well. $60 and then 20% off that. So I actually just repurchased it. And the reason I got it was because we have a little pool club in our neighborhood. I promise it sounds fancier than it is. And I was thinking I do need a bag and it has to be backpack style for the summer to go back and forth, we walk to it. So I wanted to see if this would be able to pack up as a pool club bag. Um, we don't bring much, it's a very quick trip. We have two little ones, so it is usually just like a an hour long down and back. The ritzy bag packed up, it is stuffed to the max. So I wanna see if everything from this bag will fit into this bag. It'll give you guys a little comparison of this bag. Honestly, I do, I do think that this bag, I would not bring to the pool. I don't know if it's something about the vegan leather or it just, it's so pretty. I can't imagine myself going hiking with it or going to the pool with it. So. That is why I picked up this bag as well. I feel like I could beat this one up a little bit more just based on the material um, And I could just throw it in the wash. I know that these are wipeable, but I don't know this just feels a little bit more I don't know um, A little bit more classy to me. I'm not sure um, All right, so again, this is stuffed full. It is really really heavy over here on the side I just have a water bottle and an insulated water pocket Insulated bottle pocket, sorry up here, I would probably just put my cell phone. Over here, I just have a couple bibs. Um, on this side, I have a couple pouches. This is a nice insulated pocket over here and a juice box. In the back is just the change pad. I'll keep it as that. Right up here on the front, just grabbed whatever sunglasses I could find. I have a pair of little babyators here for my son and a pair of adult sunglasses there. It's pretty much filled to the max. In here, I don't have much. I can't really fit anything in here because this bag is so stuffed full. Now, I did put a towel in here. I don't think I would realistically pack a towel in here, but I put a towel in here just so you could see how much it fits. So this is like super stuffed full. This is a full-size adult beach towel. Um, Usually when we go to the to the pool, we just kind of drape the towels over our shoulder or put it over the stroll. Way up here, this is like a hidden little one up here. I just have a little um, beach hat. This is a bottle. I would usually go with it full, but you know, just for demonstration purposes. Up here is a sippy cup. This is the only one I could find because I don't know, all of our sippy cups go missing. This is a water bottle. You could fit two water bottles in here. This pocket is huge right here. I love all of the organizational pockets in this bag. You do not need any pouches in this bag if you do not want to purchase any extra pouches. I love it. Two swim diapers and um, some flushable wipes. Wipes for the little one and one, two, three, four, size five diapers. So this up here, I don't really know. I have to look around to see what people have used this for. There's like two skinny mesh pockets. There is a divider here. Honestly, what fits perfect is neutral grain bars. So they're the width of neutral grain bars. I don't know, maybe, maybe medicine would fit up here or if anyone has allergies, I'm not really sure what would fit up there. I'm not sure, I should watch some videos. Over here, there are a full, this is a value size sports sunscreen. Over here, there are a full, this is a value size sports sunscreen. And there's also another baby sunscreen. These are the big ones. I put two, these are toddler size. I have a change of clothes. This is a size 3T pair of shorts and a 3T top. Sometimes if we go in the evening, we'll just change uh, my kids into their pajamas. So I packed down here. These are actually 4T pajamas. This is the full long sleeve top and long sleeve bottom. I love that this is divided so it's separated. 
And then the top one, I have a full footed pajama. This is probably 18 months. Some socks. Guys, so much fits in here. This is just an extra outfit. This is 18 month full outfit. I think that that's a ton just to fit in a backpack. All right. All right, so now is the true test. Will all of this that fit in the boss bag fit into the Jujube be right back? Just gonna put this on this side. I do like that it has two bottle pockets here. All right, let's start putting on sunglasses. That's an adult size and little kid size, the baby eaters. There's a key fob here. Put the neutral grain. A little bit squished. The reason that I got rid of this bag originally because there was not that much organization in here. And you can see it's it's not as organized already. So I'm gonna put the pajamas up here just like I had the other one. It's not as separated. The other one, maybe I can fit all of the clothes though. So the other bag, I fit four of these diapers. I don't really need four to go to the pool, but just to see if they all fit. All right, so let's just update. It's not all going to fit. I can see why people use pouches because otherwise you have this free floating clothes. It's a little bit of a mess, but it will, it will kind of function. I will end up having to pack a fuel cell with the water bottles and snacks. I wish it had more internal organization. That itsy ritsy bag really puts it to shame. So this is what did not fit. Those are the two bags. But you can see that the Itsy Ritsy one is truly much bigger. So let me know if you have any questions, if you're wondering if anything fits. They're both very comfortable. Um, the Itsy Ritsy one does feel a tad heavier, but again, that might just be the material of the vegan leather bag that I had selected. Um, okay, well, let me know. Bye.